Maureen Mason is the author of six books, a freelance project designer, and an editor whose work can be found in print, online, and on television. She delights in threading her sewing machine and experimenting with newfound fabric-like surfaces. If it fits between her presser foot and the feed dogs, you might just find it sewn into a garment, home decor, or a trendy gift item. I'm delighted to welcome Laureen Mason. Hey, Laureen. Hi, Tiffany, and all the wonderful guests that we have out there. We're sure uh, chasing the world these days. I have a Mother's Day gift for everyone. Um, let me show it here. I did the Mother's Day pocket, the felt pocket, and that wonderful picture on the front are my parents um, who have been married almost 60 years. Anyway, let's get started crafting. Um, I like to be known as the crafty sewer, which means any of you that know how to thread your sewing machine, you pretty well can do these projects. It's really simple. If you're too scared to even get the sewing machine out, you probably can get away with just fusing everything or hand stitching it. But right now, we've started a brand new thing at Cool to Craft. We've got Get Acquainted kits, and I've put together a kit for you to make this pocket that includes almost everything that you'll need uh, to make this in a, in a variety of sizes, because I'm going to give you the large pieces of felt, not just the, enough to make this one size of pocket. But depending if you have a larger picture, you'll be able to make a larger bag. But anyway, let's get started. First of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need the felt. And I like to use a variety of a wool blend felt. Um, it has at least 20% wool. And I chose to use a pistachio green color, which is this one. Uh, I guess it's... Ah, there we go. A pistachio green and a purple sage and white. And then I have a yellow and white pansy on the front of my project that I'll get to a little bit later. So you're going to get these all in the kit. Or if you happen to have felt at home, go ahead on your own. Another product that I'm going to use, Leslie Riley was a wonderful guest on Tiffany's show a couple of weeks ago, I believe. And I saw her for the first time, even though I had heard of her work. But I saw her demonstrate TAP, which is Transfer Artist Paper. I was personally blown away by this product. Um, when I got my hands on some of it, I actually I fused it to some felt and was blown away with it. I've used a lot of different products uh, in art quilting and this type of thing, and this tap product is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I ended up, I've got some, and I put some in the kit. So each kit, if you'd like to buy one, is going to include a sheet of this, or you can buy it in packages of five as well. But let's get to this. All right, first of all, you're going to choose a picture. And here's a picture of my wonderful parents. And with the directions that Leslie's got on the package, it's really simple. You're simply going to put your picture in your photocopy machine or your uh, scanner. And an inkjet is what's going to work. Slide it in there. Shot, slide in a sheet of tap. And we're printing on the white side. You'll notice there's a blue side and there's a white side. We're going to be printing on the white side. And so pr hit print, and away you go, and you get a beautiful image. Let me show you the quality. This is the picture, and this is the quality that I got from it. So you can see it is pretty darn clear. And this is using this onto felt. So once you've printed it onto your tap, then we're going to take it over to the ironing board, and we're going to fuse it to a piece of white felt. Lay that out. You want your iron on the hottest setting. We're going to take the picture that I have trimmed. You see it there, this picture. I trimmed it to the size, cut away all the white area, lay it down on my felt, which I've got right here, and fuse. Just go over and over it. Depending on the size of your picture and the surface that you're pressing it to, it might take 10 seconds, it might take 15. To check, simply lift up one corner and see if the picture is fused. There's a little bit left on there. I'm going to try it again. You can see how fast this is. Let's check one more time here. Oh, it looks pretty good. And there you go. I've got the picture fused. All right, now that we've got the picture fused to the felt, what I want you to do is I want you to trim around. Now, you can choose whether to leave a small white border 
around the picture on my sample I did. You notice here on the picture there's a small edge of white felt that's showing. But trim around the picture. And like I said, the dimensions that I'm giving you in the instructions in the kit are to go along with this size of photo. But all you're going to do is change them up. And what I did is I extended each level of the pocket out one quarter inch. So let's trim around that picture. And we'll just take some scissors. If you happen to have a um, rotary cutter, you can use that the mat and trim away. I'm going to do this real quick just because it's probably pretty boring watching me trim a picture. There we go. One more edge to cut here. And what I can't believe about this tap, which makes me so happy about there, I've trimmed the picture around, is the fact it's so soft and you can actually stretch it, kind of pull on it and things like that, and it's not going to crack. All right, I've got this picture. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of green felt. Actually, here's one I've trimmed here without the white. Let's start with this one. And I've got a picture of a piece of green felt. And in the kit, this felt says to cut this 4 and a half inch by 5 inches because that's what I measured from the picture I was using here. Then I'm going to layer the picture on top of the green felt, leaving a nice quarter inch border. And I'm going to set that aside. Now it's in the, in the kit, it's going to tell you to cut, and I'll have these instructions on uh, Tiffany's site as well. The purple felt, you're going to cut this 5 and a half inches across by 12 inches long of the purple, and you're going to cut a green strip 1 and a half inches by 5 and a half inches. Because this, what we're going to do with this strip here is we're going to sew it to the top of our pocket. And the reason that we're going to do this is that it's going to give you a nice... Um, on the top edge of the pocket, it's going to give you some body up here so that when you go to put things in the pocket, it's kind of stiff up here. And I added ribbons so my mom could tie this to the edge of her walker. Anyway, so we're going to take this piece of felt, and what I want you to do is to take this to the sewing machine, and this is the right side, or the top side of the felt, which on felt there really isn't a right and wrong. So whatever you choose to be the top side, the one and a half by five and a half inch strip of felt on the top and I want you to stitch all around the outside edges. And I did it two or three rows. If you look, you can see pretty close there. I think I just kept stitching around here. Then what we're going to do, let's pretend this is stitched on here. Then I want to take, once it's stitched, fold this over and give it a good pressing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this bottom edge of the pocket and I'm going to bring it up and you're going to bring it up as far as you need to to take the green layer and the picture and sit it on top. So I've got this folded over. I'm going to bring this is the front edge of my pocket and I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to center my green felt and then my picture on the front of the pocket. And I'm going to layer that. All right, that is just uh, the reason I folded this edge here is I wanted to know where to put the picture. So I'll unfold it, take this to your sewing machine, and I want you to stitch all around the top layer through the edge of the picture. And you'll find that this layer is really soft. You can stitch right through that polymer coating, not a problem, and stitch around the outside edge. Let me bring my sample back here. And you can see real close here where I stitched all the lines here. And I stitched, let's get these ribbons out of the way. I stitched all around. There's my mom and my dad. So I stitched, I think it's one, two, three rows of stitching. Then I'm going to, once that's all stitched on, I'm going to fold that pocket front up. Let me show you this. Let's pretend this is all stitched. There we go. Okay, so now this is all stitched, and I'm folding, so now I have a pocket. And here's your pocket. You can put that, you can put Kleenex in here. I think Mom's probably going to put her um, key to get her mail and things like that in there. So now I've got my pocket. All right, then in the kit as well is we're going to have a die cut here. I just like the image this little, can you see this little die cut here I'm using the physics machine? And in the kit, I'm going to cut one for you and send it with you. And I backed it with some fusible web, which I'll include in the kit as well. 
when you get this image, you're just going to place it on top of the pocket and press it down. And I just like that little kind of, you could put a name in there. I just decorated it with buttons. And you'll notice that I added buttons to the top edges here and across the front. Now, let's make the pansy here. On the pansy, and I've written all the instructions in, there's patterns provided. Trace it on. You need three yellow petals and you need two white petals. Cut those out and then just take, and I'm using a dark thread here so you can see really well. Can I get that up there? And you're just going to do a running stitch. And you're just going to stitch all along here through the one yellow petal. And then you go on to the next. And I've just got them all kind of clotheslined here. They're all stitched together three yellow and the two white. And I've just stitched around that bottom curve. Then pull up your thread. I'll do this real quick. Pull up your thread and gather up those petals and simply adjust the placement of the petals so it looks kind of like a pansy. And then take a couple stitches into the back and add some beads. And let me give you a real close-up look here of my pansy. And it's all done with one thread and needle, gathered them all up, adjusted my petals, stitched into the back, brought my needle through to the front, and added some beads. And then I added some ribbon ties, and there we go.